Hello guys, in this video we're going to look at the how Magento loads the uh, the modules, the Magento modules, how are they loaded. So when you hit the web page at any URL, Magento will first make call to the index.php inside Magento pop index.php and in the first thing it does, it requires the bootstrap .php bootstrap.php and then initialize the application so what happens in the bootstrap.php should be in app and then bootstrap in bootstrap it just autoload requires the autoload php within the same directory which is this file and then it just add extra settings and do some settings with the application with the uh, HTTP request. So in the auto load, the what it does it so it just requires the vendor path, which is this one, and then it includes it here, and then it will wrap it. Whatever comes from vendor auto load php is wrapped up by magento custom uh, implementation of composer so first of all it will require this auto load this auto load then will require the vendor auto load this auto load just returns the get loader this loader which is the class loader of the composer composer auto load class loader will just take this class and then wraps it in this custom or extension extended uh, composer these are inside we go to so you have composer here and then magento will have another composer that extended this and it has those files and wraps it you don't need to worry about what happens uh, behind the scenes or whatever happens in here the only thing we are interested in this is how magento modules and packages outside magento are loaded and by this magento also have this custom functionality to extend composer to load the modules and then register those modules the registration happens inside if you go to any module we will go to the composer and inside the composer there is an auto load files registration.php this is how is registered how how the every module is registered under uh, the auto load and by this they will be inside this static method in the component registrar and they will be available in the config.php file that we see in the app etc config so this is how they are registered and then they will be put in here as a configuration so this is how it does with the vendor modules. With vendor modules, we don't need to worry about how they are like implemented because they are all third party or Magento core, and we just happens to use them or extend them within our app code uh, modules, or if we want to make uh, another modules as a vendor but it depends on some other modules. So in this, in this way, Magento will require this autoload and then register those only for the vendor. With that said, how those modules inside the app code are registered? These are registered if we go to the autoload these are registered if you go to the vendor path it just gives you the vendor and then registration global list this is how the registration files are collected 
So it gives you a pattern, app code, staff, staff, registration. So we could treat it as app code, training, replace staff with a training, and replace staff with example, and then you get default path to the registration. So these are whatever happened, whatever placed inside code as module or will be collected here. So this is just a, a pattern and it will loop through all the modules and collect those registration files. So those registration files are here in the global uh, list. Then you have this file, non-composer non component registration. If you look at this, this is it just look, let me fix this one, just IED, PHP 7.1. It requires those global list and then loop through these one by one. And you can see the file will be glob. Then you get the files by this pattern because these are patterns. And then if the file is found then it will require it once however once this is required this file is simply will be training example registration then this will be registered but how this is called how this is loaded this is loaded inside the composer composer.json file in composer.json file if you look at the PSR uh, or uh, auto load, you will see these are the files, and then it will, will load this on Bootstrap. So when you load the page, it will require this file, and by loading this file, everything happens. All these triggered, and this function is static and will just be triggered, and all registration files are loaded and thus the modules are registered within the app code. The other thing with this one is what we have done in the previous videos. Instead of disabling the module by saying, by doing the command PHP bin Magento uh, module disable any module we have done it with the two-factor authorization so instead of adding this like here zero we what we've done is we just remove it completely from the vendor so they are not loaded they are not coming through in the vendor so they are not going to load why why did we use this instead of disabling the module itself in either way, we can go back to this file and enable the module if we need it, or we just remove it here from here and then run composer update and then we'll run the setup upgrade and we'll install it. The main, the main thing that we use this approach uh, over disabling the module in the config file is these are modules are already in composer auto load so they will be loaded no matter what even the module is disabled they will they will still be loaded the classes still will be loaded this will go similar to that because the files or registrations are done and uh, collected and all modules are registered it doesn't mean the module itself will be loaded because there's no way knowing that it will be loaded by this file. The only way you can make sure the modules inside app code are loaded is in PSR zero. This is whatever comes after app code will be loaded from that point. If you say I have example model um, customer, then if you call a new training example model customer, it will look at the file beyond after app code 
and then load it. So this is to load the code inside app code and this file is to register the modules. So both needed in order to make this works. And we going back to this, sorry, to this replace. We do the replace because all classes are loaded. So you don't want to get your uh, website during uh, very slow during uh, deployment or probably those classes are loaded uh, during page load or uh, doing some other functionalities. So the, to make sure these are not loaded and not adding extra uh, time, load time, you just remove them by a replace. And this is, this is the way Magento works and how it loads the modules from the vendor and from the app code. I hope this helps and uh, I see you in the next video.